lawmakers want to make it harder for inmates to be released early. The legislation comes after a deputy was killed by a suspect officials say should not have been out on the street. Not everyone is supporting the proposal. NBC 15's Ashley Knight reports. Deputy Brad Johnson was shot to death June of 2022 in Bibb County, Alabama. It began when Deputy Chris Poole was chasing a burglary suspect. That suspect lost control of his car and started shooting at Poole's patrol vehicle. Deputy Brad Johnson was called to back up. He calls out on the radio and tells Brad to back off. He's been shot. As Brad comes around the curve, he's right behind him, tops the curve, immediately encounters the subject who is still tracking Chris and putting rounds into his truck. Brad immediately engages, firing three rounds through the windshield at the suspect, and then steps out on the running board of the vehicle to continue into the firefight while his truck is receiving round after round after round. Brad gets two shots off before he's struck in the head and falls back into the vehicle. Both deputies had been shot in the head, but Deputy Johnson passed away from his injuries. The suspect had been released from prison just three days before, having served three years of a 10-year sentence. They were shot by a felon who was given good time credits, even though he had a history of a lot of bad behavior while he was incarcerated. The suspect, Austin Hall, was serving time for theft charges when he escaped from a work release center back in 2019. He was on the run for a month before being recaptured. Now, currently, Alabama's Good Time program allows inmates in a category described as trustworthy to shave 75 days off their sentence for every 30 days of good behavior. The Deputy Brad Johnson Act would cut that down to 30 days of good time for 30 days served and would take those credits away entirely for certain offenses like escape and homicide. Those opposing the bill point to this worsening our already overcrowded prison system. Senator Weaver responded to those concerns. So I will tell you, I believe that Alabama is being invaded by soft on crime, liberal lawyers who are being sent here to address things like this. In Alabama, we are a very conservative state. We love our law enforcement officers. We are going to protect our victims. And we want to focus on pub public safety, and that is the focus that we will have in this bill. Deputy Chris Poole spoke in a news conference saying the two deputies were like brothers, their children, calling each other uncle, even vacationing together. Poole says Johnson wasn't your ordinary officer. I watched him take people to rehab. I watched him try to get people to change their life. It wasn't just putting them in jail and saying, we're done with you. And one thing that always stood out to me about Brad as he said, you know, integrity is everything. What you do when no one is looking defines you. He says this bill will save the lives of not only other deputies, but citizens as well. The legislative session begins March 7th. Ashley Knight, NBC 15 News.